if your dharma has been to act in a way that has personally hurt me, if your dharma, if your karmic cycle, if your soul contract included or includes intentionally causing harm to me or anyone I love or I've ever loved, you're not allowed to have any say in my healing. You're not allowed to tell me how long it should take, how I should do it, what it should look like. And you should be damn ashamed of yourself if you know that you have hurt me on purpose or anyone else. Don't be ashamed to hurt people. We're all gonna hurt people. We all get hurt. That's part of this karmic experience. But and I'm going to quote someone that I haven't quoted lately because of whatever, but Cameron Shane once said to me, one of my old teachers, master Budokan, founder of Budokan said, I was so worried. I'm, I'm, I can get so caught in people pleasing. And for so long, when I, when I came to Los Angeles, I felt I was, I was, I had been told that I was shit and that I had one chance not to be shit. And it was to give up everything and do it with gratitude and get stuck in a situation that lasted a year and a half that I never should have gotten out of. And somehow I did. And then, um, I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to make sure that I am um, so anybody everybody hurts people oh Cameron Shane's quote um, he said I was like it was it was I had agreed to do something with someone we know from Miami Fred Bush and I didn't want to do it anymore it was a teacher training and he wanted to cut it 50% it was all gonna be in my studio it was like my first year opening it made no financial sense for me. The only reason I wanted to do it is because Fred and I had a falling out in Sunny Isles and I felt like it was like super powerful and cosmic for us to come together again and teach together and have overcome this this um, this thing, you know, and which we did overcome, but that we didn't need to do a teacher training and if we were going to do one, I should have spoke up that no, 50% doesn't work for me. Maybe since my studio is hosting it and you and your girlfriend are staying at my place, we can do like a 60, 40 thing and work at all my, I'm bringing all the trainees, you know? Um, I think it was more respect thing for him. And then also it's a, a theme in my life. People that, um, I'm an extremely generous person, more to a fault. Um, Money was always a, got, it got in the way of a lot, working with him and under him very respectfully. One of my first yoga teachers, it's Fred. Um, anyway, so I'm telling Cameron, I, I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset him. You know, I said I would do it. So I feel like because I said I would do it, I have to do it. Even though there's plenty of time. No, we didn't have anyone signed up. There's like three months out. He hadn't bought his plane ticket, nothing like that. Um, he said, Ashley, and I talked about it for like five minutes or something. You just listen. I'm telling him all the, what I just told you. And he goes, Ashley, when you take a shit, clean it up, move on. How other people react has nothing to do with you. As long as you know you, this experience is everything and it's nothing. I hurt people's feelings that I don't even know about. 
It's happened a lot. I would never intentionally hurt someone's feelings. I'm trying to think if I've ever intentionally like been ma malicious like that. I wasn't like that in high school. Like I was the girl that people made fun of and um, backstabbed. <laughs> my best friend, when she got busted by the police, gave them my name and my dad's phone number in high school. That was like one of my best friends. Um, I'm trying to think if I've ever even, you know, in relationships, I will say I have definitely like a uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, I think towards, you know, the relationships we all stay in a little bit too long. I'm sure because I'm rigorously honest with myself. I'm sure that there's been times where because of like getting out of the relationship or the dynamics that I haven't like intention, I, like survival. You know what I mean? I haven't intentionally like, uh, like take it, you know, like taking advantage of anyone or like, I remember even like the worst like adult breakup kind of was like a couple years ago and it was, I feel bad. It wasn't necessarily the purse, it was the circumstances. It was like stability. There were so many factors involved, the timing and, uh, I, I still, I, I was like, let's um, voice memo our arguments because I'm telling you, we're not arguing about like time. You, all you're thinking about is money, you know? And, um, and that's a lot of times what happens. It's like unconsciousness built on unconsciousness and um, it gets misunderstood. You know, this girl that came up in a situation recently, if she would have called me and been like, yo, I mean, it was 11 years ago. Yesterday, I said it to my friend Dion. Uh, I had this little pebble in my heart, still about Sunny Isles, that I didn't know needed healing. You know what I mean? I had another studio out here that was a massive success. Agni Yoga. Um, I've been all over the world. I mean, I've done uh, what people would consider to be, I've become more and more successful in what I do by most people's standards and by my own and achieved more, been of more service to more people because of how things transpired. Um, and that would not have happened if I stayed with my baby Sunny Isles yoga studio, you know? But my timing on healing and that little rock that was in my heart that I didn't know was just needed to come up yesterday and heal is a freaking blessing that I'm gonna take and uh, appreciate and feel damn proud of. So um, I'm not gonna take anything down. Um, and that's regarding everything. You know, sometimes I was thinking earlier, I was like, I feel like lately it's like something will happen and then I'll like kind of vent it up. But I guess that's life, you know, like things come up and that's how healing happens. And also how a brand new set of choices happens. Like this is 11 years ago. It could have been every single person that was involved has made amends to me. The girl, if she called me or texted me or responded to any of the messages, hey, you know, it was kind of shitty how I did all that back then. I could have done it better. You know, I'm sorry if you're still hurt. I don't even, fuck sorry. Um, whatever, because I'm not still hurting. I actually made more money off that studio than she offered. It's a funny, very funny story. My ex, one of my ex fiancés, the guy that I married, well, we had like a ceremony in India. In India, in Indian too, actually, but he's not Indian. <laughs> so I left Sunny Isles and I'm so thirsty. 
I left Sunny Isles in 2011, okay? And I came, or came to LA, yada, 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 skipped to two years to 2013. And, you know, I was ripped out of Miami. I don't know if anybody's ever experienced an intervention. I don't uh, recommend it for anyone, for anything. It is the scariest, most traumatizing, painful thing I think a person, well, another thing is they made me feel so low and I was so low for so long, I didn't even feel like a credible source that I could stand up and tell the truth. And I'll say it with pride and I will scream it if you don't let me get along with my healing. That was for someone specific. Um, but yeah, like I didn't, I don't care about the fact details that are involved. That's minutia to me. I am happy I have the opportunity to heal this little thing. In the last 11 years, my mom's had a stroke, my dad's had a stroke, I've opened a studio, I've closed a studio, I've been engaged four times, I've been married once, divorced once. Maybe I didn't have time to get around to the way you stabbed me in the motherfucking back yet until 11 years later. You don't get to tell me how to heal from your abuse. I just got the chills. So that's the takeaway. And in semantically being in alignment with what this channel is about, if someone hurts you, traumatizes you, makes a decision that, that isn't in your uh, personal set of boundaries, you stand up for yourself, you heal yourself. There's this one quote, heal yourself from the people who cut you or you'll bleed on those who didn't. And that's all about bringing what other people, hurt people hurt people, you know? Um, so nope, you don't get to lie to YouTube and tell them that there's false information there or anything else because it's all true. And my channel is dedicated to truth and healing, and that's how it happened. So I'll never talk about it again because it would have been done yesterday if you didn't email YouTube and lie. But now there's more residual stuff. And also, you're, you've blessed me once again, Em, because I have a new rule. If someone hurts me, and the only people that can hurt me are the people that I love. And when I love, I love. I've never even closed a drawer with half my heart. If you hurt me or have hurt me, you don't get to say anything about how I heal. You don't get a say in it. Okay? When you know better, do better. This was on last night when my friend visited and she's like, I thought this was kind of a chill song. She's like, it's not my favorite on this like YouTube playlist. But she goes, you got, you got a Bluetooth? <laughs> Can I put my own music on? I was like, I always wanted to know how to do the Charleston. So make me twerk, cause I'll do it. Gosh. I forgot I have this on. I know Honda's like, mom, you're twerking. Don't make everyone super jelly. So, in final, in fin, um, I've adopted a new principle, which is part of my healing burst. That's why I said to my friend Deanna, and it was like a little healing burst bubble, that I'm not gonna carry anything around. I stick with that, that, that I've already got in place. But if someone hurts me and I feel nervous and I shouldn't, because I haven't done anything wrong. Um, if someone hurts me, 
They don't get to say a fucking thing about how I heal. So, you get to go on and live your life, and you even had an opportunity to fix your fucking karma. But instead you wanted to stick with the lie. Um, but there's no judgment there. I have to get water, and yeah, I, f I woke up today with like a, a part of my heart free that I didn't even know was a little bit, I haven't gotten around to healing that little bit. So my ex-husband and I are in India and I, you know, I cried, I mourned, and I think more than mourning the space I created, I mourned how it was, I felt like I was violated. And, uh, you know, when, when Paola apologized to me, she was like shaking. And I felt sorry for her. But I knew she needed to, 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 she's not, you know, she's, it wasn't her. It was not her, like, she couldn't even believe she did it. And she didn't even know how to say sorry to me. And so I, I was like, it's okay, it's okay. And I really, I forgive her. I sent one of my teacher trainings to her new studio. What's her name? Stole her studio too, or screwed her over a few years later. I don't know. I heard something about that. But she's got a studio in Bell Harbor, so Bell Harbor Yoga, Bay Harbor Islands Yoga, uh, Paola Viajas. Um, and then people came to her. Anyway, so my, my ex husband was like, and I talked about it all the time. It was before I opened Agni. And I would just talk about the, it was a special place, just breathe. I would talk about the people. I would talk about the classes and the trainings and how I painted the walls and picked out these golden ohms. And I was an ambassador at Lululemon, which I was so proud of. This is all stuff that was really exciting for me and just got whacked by my mom's stroke. And you know, I have no regrets, no regrets but it was made so much more complicated and there, everything is a blessing, but um, it hurt. I was gutted. I, I don't know a pain. And you know me, Lady Justice, as my dad calls me, the way it was done was just so dirty. And then that it was changed the name and I don't know, anyway. Um, my husband goes, we were like in a hotel in India and he's like, what do I have to do to get you to shut up about Just Breathe Yoga, about the study aisle studio? He's like, I'm gonna buy the studio. Can I buy the studio from you? I'm like, babe, totally like typical Mars Venus thing. I'm like, can you just listen to my pain for like the second year in a row? You know, we didn't talk about it all the time, but, um, uh, because, and it wasn't, it was the principle. I'm huge on principle. Like people always want to rush it. Okay, it was a long time ago, let's forget about it. Everyone says that, that didn't do the right thing. You know, or that screwed people over. It's like, yeah, you always want to rush when, you know, it's like, hey, no, you don't get to tell me how to heal or anything else. You lost all privileges in my life when you chose to intentionally and repeatedly cause me suffering and harm to go out of your life, out of your way, to steal, to commit sins, to lie. My heart is heavy for you. Freedom is amazing and I hope you find it. You've got to be rigorously honest with yourself though. There's no other way. If you hurt me or anyone that I love, understand you don't get to control anything about how I heal or how long it takes.
I speak only the truth. It amazes me in life how many opportunities people have to do the right thing or to fix something they've done maybe hastily or who knows I don't care So I am also not going to adopt your feelings of guilt and shame around your choices. I just get to choose my choices, which is to lead a positive, healthy life and heal any motherfucking way I want. I don't like confrontation, I get anxiety. I like getting along with people, I like to be low key. I like peacefulness. But make no mistake, I'm not supposed to be alive right now. I take responsibility for every decision that I've ever made. But the people that have hurt me and sent me the fire that I walked through with grace and class most of the time. That's mine. And what I've learned is that, this is a quote, before you jump off the bridge or take that chance, the hero and the coward feel the same motherfucking thing. I've learned through my decisions that have manifested the life that I have had so far, <laughs> that it's always better to take the chance and I'll never not stand up for the truth, for love and for myself ever again. <laughs>